So in this particular chapter, we'll talk about a very important concept called as version. So let's see what version is. So whenever you create your Lambda, what you get created is a version that is mutable. And this particular version is called as the dollar latest version. And you can keep making changes to this particular version. So if you want to add some code, if you want to delete a piece of code, or if you want to add a few more lines, you could do that in your dollar latest version version. Now, once you are sure that your function is absolutely perfect, then the next thing that you would want to do is you want to publish that version so that it cannot be changed and it becomes immutable completely. And not just the code, but also the configuration and the environmental variables as well. So let's see how this particular latest version that we've created can be converted into a immutable version. So let's see how that is done. So here I'm in my function once again. So here the function that you see here is basically the dollar latest version and it is mutable because you can make changes to this. So for example, if you want to add a piece of code here, you can do that as well. So le let's make some changes. So let's add a few lines of text. So I'll just add version one here and let's just deploy this as well. Okay, so I've made all the changes I want to now make a version out of this dollar latest version. And now to do that, you can either go to this versions tab or you can just go up this particular screen, click on actions and here you'll find a published new version. Now, both of them have the same functionality. So let's click on this particular button and here you just need to give a description for your version. So I'll just call this as version one and I'll click on publish. And here you can see that my version one has got created. And this particular version, so this is basically an integer that gets added every time a new version is created. So if I make some more changes, the next version that will be created will be two. So now let's go and run this particular version. So again, let's click on code. Now, if I make some changes to this particular version one, you can see that I'm not able to do it because currently it has become immutable and no configuration and no settings can be changed for this particular version. So if I go to the configuration, you can see that everything is in a not editable mode. So now what we'll do is, so now if you want to make some changes, you have to again go to your dollar latest and make changes there and then create a new version out of that. So let's do that once more. So to go back to your dollar latest, you can just, now if you want to go back to your latest dollar latest again, you can click on my function here. And now you're back to your dollar latest version of this particular function. So this again is the editable version. So if you go down here again, and let's make a few changes here as well. Now, what would happen if you want to make a version out of this dollar latest? Now I have not made any changes to anything. So let's try to make a version out of this. So as you know, I already have a version. So if you click on versions here, you can see that version one has been created. So if you go back to your code and let's make a version, not edit anything and let's not make any changes and let's see what happens if we make a version now. So again, let's go back to our action, click on publish new version and let's just say, call this as version two. Now, because I have not made any changes, let's see what happens if we try to publish this version. You can see that no changes were made to the dollar last since publishing version one. So no version was published. So because your dollar latest and your version one are basically the same and in sync, it doesn't allow you to create a new version. So let's create another version. So let's click on code again and let's just make this as two and let's deploy this. And now you should be able to make a new version out of this. So you can just click on publish new version and let's just call this as version two. And let me publish this particular version now. And here you can see that I have created an, another version. So if you go back to your dollar latest version, and if you click on the version tabs, you can see that currently I've created two versions. that is version one and version two, and both of them have a different dis description. So that is how you can use versions to create immutable versions of that particular Lambda function. So I hope this was a useful lecture. I will see you in the next where we'll talk about aliases. So I'll see you there.